So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm These in class. Everything's cool. Time. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. I do love my analog camera. She saw humanity as I should take a quick picture now. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. I can't Keep believe I still have this pencil case. Seriously, I should upgrade to the 21st century. In a dark but I like it old school. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even... Sorry, Max. No more self... And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process. But I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is... Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Not, not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera. I... Kate looks so sad and quiet today. To Poor thing. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me.
This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of trying to laugh. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying her. She plays it so <laughs> sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. No, I told you. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Imagine a world without you. American girls There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. by the seaside. Watching the world from the These missing persons side. posters are popping up everywhere. Yeah. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. To all of you. Ah, the American science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. No one can tell where you are. Having everybody see inside my locker. Like dollies, with shiny smiles and plus I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. I wish I Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. An American girl. Nobody can see I'm outbound, except for me.